global warming. Now, what about the climate gate? The scientists have now been exonerated, acquitted, not guilty. They did get a wrist slap. They deceived the public, and they deceived other scientists. But they did nothing that was immoral, illegal, or anything like that. What did they do that deceived the public? This is in the report. This is in the review, not the charts. But these are the data as they published it on the cover of the World Meteorological Organization magazine. These are the data that many of my fellow scientists at Berkeley use. They say, well, you know, the public may not understand graphs, but I do. And look at this. Here's the temperature for the last 1,000 years going over the place. It's not actually temperature. We actually measure tree rings and, sea fl- and corals and things, but it's a proxy for temperature. It goes all over the place. Then look what happened recently. Zoom. That's clear and incontrovertible. The public may not understand this, so I have to now lend my prestige to this. I'm a professor of physics, and I will now go and tell people that global warming is clear and incontrovertible because I have seen the actual data, and it is. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of my colleagues have behaved in this way. In their paper, if you dig into it, they said they did some things with the data from 1961 onward. They removed it and replaced it with temperature data. So some of the people who read these papers asked to see the data. They refused to send it to them, the original raw data. Um, They used the Freedom of Information Act. The Freedom of Information Act officer, on the advice of the scientists, would not release the data. Then the data came out. They weren't hacked like a lot of people say. Most people who know this business believe they were leaked by one of the members of the team who who was really upset with them. So now I can show you what the data that they refused to release, the original data, before they did anything. What they did was, and there's a quote. A quote came out in the emails, these leaked emails, that said, let's use Mike's trick to hide the decline. That's the words. Let's use Mike's trick to hide the decline. Mike, who's Michael Mann, said, hey, trick just means mathematical trick. That's all. Now, and my response is, I'm not worried about the word trick. I'm worried about the decline. What do you mean, hide the decline? Let me show you this. Now we have the data. Now it's been released. And this is what it is. That's the raw data as any Berkeley scientist would have published it. He would have said, okay, we've had the medieval ice age, and now we have global warming. And there's some disagreement, but hey, there's disagreement all over the place. And that just shows the technique isn't completely uh, reliable. What they did is they took the data from 1961 onward, from this peak, and erased it. What was their justification for erasing it? The fact that it went down. And we know the temperature is going up. Therefore, it was unreliable. Is this unreliable? No. How do we know? Well, we don't know. But, you know, (laughs) this is probably some human effect. Their their justification would not have survived peer review in any journal that I'm willing to publish in. But they had it well hidden, and they erased that, And they replaced it with temperature going up. And let me show you how cleverly this was done. You get back to this plot. There it is. Uh, They added the same temperature data to three different plots, giving you the illusion that there are three different sets going up. Um, And they smoothed it. This temperature changes smoothly. If they hadn't smoothed it, you might have noticed, oh, wait a minute, what's the change going on right there? Why is it abruptly different? But you don't notice that because it's smooth. But smoothing is legitimate in their minds because the temperature change is not discontinuous. So that's what they did. And what is the result in my mind? Quite frankly, as a scientist, I now have a list of people whose papers I won't read anymore. You're not allowed to do this in science. This is not up to our standards. I get infuriated with colleagues of mine who say, well, you know, it's a human field. You make mistakes. And then I show them this. And they say, "Uh, no, that's not acceptable. Now, here's part of the problem. The temperature I showed you before, this one, of the three groups, I picked the one I trusted the most. Guess which group this was? Yeah, the group that hid the decline. So we have Jim Hansen, who predicts things ahead of time, what he's going to find. We have the group here that feels it is legitimate to hide things. This is why I'm now leading a study to redo all this in a totally transparent way. Okay. 